Hey everyone, I wanted to make this short video to explain something. A lot of you have been asking me, where is my series, She Put Race to the Side and won? I have some good news. I have, I'm not gonna stop doing the series. In fact, I spoke to a woman who is married to a very high profile man and she actually answered some of my questions and she's she agreed that she would work with me on the series and it's incredible now i do have some other women before her that i wanted to get to before i show her but i wanted to explain the the series and she put race to the side and one love i've had a few haters when it comes to the series who make assumptions. Now I wanna say this now, you, the man doesn't have to be super rich for me to do a series on them. If you know any everyday couples in interracial relationships where the woman is black, my email, I will put in the description box. You can um, email me if you know them, if they would like their story, their love story shared, I can do that. It's not easy for me to do these series because I said before, most of the couples, these women, they don't, they're not always telling their love story. This is why I reached out to one of them. And, you know, I do the best I can with that. But one of the reasons why I started the series is because I wanted to show black women, if you stop thinking about the race, the ethnicity, the culture of the man all the time, I'm not saying culture can't be a factor in anything. You have to get to know the, the man's culture and everything if you want to date him. But if you stop worrying about that and actually pick a good man who has the qualities you're looking for and stop worrying about his skin color, then you can win in love. Now, because I show so far, I've shown these men are very well to do, there are people who will take the title and say, oh, you only wanna show these black women with rich men and see, oh, is that why they won? And I said before, well, she's not a single baby mama living in an apartment or the projects can't pay her bills. Her children are suffering. Yes, she did win in love and finding a good man. And why does it trigger some of you that these men are well off? We all know not all black women are going to get a man who has millions. He can make six figures, 100,000. He can make 80,000, 70,000, and you can still live a decent life. But, you know, I wanted to explain that. Yes, they won. They won because they chose love and with a man, despite what his race was, they put it to the side and stopped worrying about the fact that he wasn't black and they came out winning in love and much more as to where they, some of them don't work, they raise their children, they have their own little businesses or hobbies, they're very feminine, they're not living a disastrous life that I'm sorry to say has happened to millions of black women. The story didn't end up tragic. And I like to show if you stop worrying about race, the good things that can happen for you with your relationships. So some of the women I'm showing in the future, yes, they're with men who take care of them and are very financially stable is a good word to use. And I did have one person reach out to me and they, two people showed me two couples on Instagram. And um, in the future, I might show them or reach out to them. And again, if you know any couples in your own personal life that wouldn't mind sharing their love story with me and would like to be featured in the series, he doesn't have to be a millionaire, hit me up at my email that will be in the description box. So. I'm keeping this video short. I wasn't sure if I was going to continue the series, to be honest, for various reasons, but I thought about it and so many of you have been asking me, where is it? And um, I am going to continue it and it's going to be called She Put Race to the Side and One Love. And um, they did. And these women seem to be very happy. If it triggers you that I show men who are very financially well off, there's nothing I can do about that. That's something within you that's upset to see black women with men who aren't black who are well off. No one else is bothered when the women are not black and their men are well off. So why are you triggered that I show this? And 
I explain their love stories and that's the only thing you can take from it. That's the ignorance. So yes, I also have, I want to show, she put age to the side in one love and it's a black couple where the woman is younger, he's older, but he loves her and takes care of her and she's very happy and has all her type of projects she, she does and everything like that. So I just wanted to say the series will be coming back soon and I just wanted to explain it for those who believe that, oh, it's only for black women who marry well to do rich men. No, it's not. Again, if you know some people, email me, okay? I do the best I can with these series and these women won for so many reasons because they put the ignorance aside that they had to only choose one type of man because of his, because of his color ethnicity and they don't suffer you know they and so suffer without a wet lot children that they can't provide for terrible credit so they can never buy a home um emotional problems with their children not having a father just always suffering and they don't because they chose the best man and um yes these men being responsible and providing for them is a great thing and we shouldn't be ashamed about that you know Again, if you only assume it's just about money, that's your problem and your own ignorance. Because I'm sharing love stories that black women are having when they put race to the side. So thank you all. And that's it. I hope you all have a good night. Bye.